I'm Ernest Hancock, publisher of FreedomsPhoenix.com, and I encourage you to ban Wheels Off Liberty for the children. Was, uh, I can't even imagine. Um, so what happens when, when you guys uh, have discipline problems? Does that ever come up? No. You've never no. been sent to the office? <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> no. Not even in the not even not public even in school. Publics. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, we're we're not we're not crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I just wondered. I just wondered how you deal with is is mom the principal and the teacher and everything and the lunch lady and know, yeah, it's all wrapped much. into one. No, well, we're the, the lunch, lunch lady. Yeah, we're the lunch ladies. <laughs> really? Do you wear the hairnets? No. no. <laughs> we just make our own lunch. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome if you wear hairnets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's my apron? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not literally lunch ladies. I bet you guys run into people that are in the government school system, and what do they think about your homeschooling, like other kids your age? Oh well, they don't get half it. the kids are like, oh, you guys are probably dumb because you don't do anything all day, but most of the time they think we're, like, stupid. So Yeah, they, like, um, and most of my friends that I have in public schools, I still see them a lot, and, um... They, they just don't get why we're homeschooled. They're, they're like, why are you homeschooled? And I always tell them because my mom doesn't like the education in government schools, and they just don't get it they're at just all. Like, they're like, why don't you like it? It's really good. We're like, you don't learn anything. Yeah, and they think we're stupid, yet Claire and I have both skipped a grade since we've been in homeschooling. Yeah. Ah. So. so do you have to take the same standardized test as those other kids, like, to compare or anything like that? No. So... How do you decide what age, you know, you're ready to go to college and, or if you want to go to college? How do you well, compare it when you're skipping grades and stuff like that? How, how does that work in homeschooling? Our mom said, like, whenever you're smart, there's, I, I guess there's like a, this is, she told me there's a, um, like, there's a college test, mm -hmm. like, so there's a test, college, and yeah, you just take it whenever you think you're smart enough, and if you do it, you... So the age really doesn't matter? Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, we know... We know someone that was homeschooled, and she went to college when she was 16. Yeah. Because she, she was just that smart and, like, and overachieved she, that she could just go to college right when she was 16. She graduated when she was, like, 17 and a half. So. No, she didn't graduate. She, you have to still go for the four years. <laughs> <laughs> well, she graduated high school when she was really young. Oh, she meant high school. Yeah. Yeah, high school, I guess. But she could go to college when she was 16. Yeah. I think she did. I see. Yeah. So... What about things like um, maybe band or, you know, uh, sports or, you know, the stuff that people always relish in government school that are extra, that aren't really... A part uh, of school? Well, you know, they're, they're in school. Mm -hmm, you know, you can go to they, course, but they're not really education as mm -hmm. far as academic-wise. Well, like we said, we both play soccer. Um, I got a new saxophone from Catherine, so I'm learning how to play that. Oh. And, um... I'm wanting to learn how to play the keyboard, so it's not like we're based on a certain amount of instruments. We can actually choose which one we want. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, did you have anything you'd want to say, like, to parents that are watching this, that are, their kids are in government school, but they don't like what the government school is teaching like your mom. Yeah. Um, what would you say to these parents? Do you feel comfortable like your mom made a good decision? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I like it. Like I, I thought I wouldn't get to see any of my friends anymore because it would be homeschooled and I wouldn't see my friends every day like I normally would. And I don't see my friends every day, but I do see them occasionally. And so that was really good and I thought my mom made a very good choice. I didn't think it would be a good choice at first. I thought I would hate it. And um, like everything is so much easier, like math and everything is so much easier because we're taught the right way and we're not sitting there having a teacher cram stuff down our throat the whole day and so it's I think my mom made a very good decision yeah well, you, you too you comfortable with what I I like homeschooling a lot and it's but she thought she um, she thinks she's really really cool because she's like you gotta act like you're black to fit into this 
like school. Oh, and we're like, that's how it is in every oh single public school. She's like, you have to act like you're black to fit in. I'm like, if I went to that school, I would act like myself, not like someone that I'm not. Yeah. And that's another reason why I didn't like um, public school is because if you didn't act a certain way, then everyone automatically thinks you're stupid. So you felt like a lot of the social pressures and stuff were really interfering with learning and and what yeah. I mean it, you were focused more on it's it's it it's really annoying too because they have like dances where you can dance with your boyfriend for us that don't just... remember this stuff <laughs> when you're in sixth grade what qualifies you as a boyfriend girlfriend <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't I don't know that because like she's like I, I was just like we were just talking and then it was we were automatically together I'm like Okay, I don't know how that works. So yeah. Well, I, I, that's a good answer. <laughs> Thanks so much. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at a girl at um a Jolly Justice coffee break, which is where she like talks okay. about concerns and stuff, like what she's gonna do. What's and, a, hold on? What's a Jelly Justice? Jolly Justice. Oh, it's Julie. J J Jolly. I thought you were talking about <laughs> <laughs> no Jelly no. Donuts or something. <laughs> um. She. She's like a senator, I think. Oh, okay. I, I, th I don't it's know. It's a Missouri thing. Okay. I'm not, well, I'm not that sure. Um, but we met this girl, and uh, totally we random. were talking. <laughs> really? <laughs> and she wanted to do a TV show, and it was where she wanted to, like, have, like, uh, kids that are homeschooled, kids that are unschooled, um, private school and public school, and they want to see which one's smarter. And, like, what the difference is. Yeah. I just wanted to say that because... Yeah. Kind of talking about homeschooling, so that's just. It's actually interesting to see how it all compares, but uh, that, mm -hmm. um, one of the biggest complaints about homeschooling is they're like, well, what if the parents don't take an active role in it? What the difference is, you know, um, I would imagine how much. Well, I guess your mom's home all day long. She has to be, mm -hmm. right? So, um, I guess it would be very hard for someone that wasn't a house mom or a house husband to do yeah. it. Uh, do you know any homeschooling? Um, kids that their father does the work instead of the mother as at home does the teaching is it always the mom um <laughs> pretty much because the mom has a lot more concern than the dad really does well our dad has a lot of concern more concern than our mom does of what we're being taught but i haven't really met a family where the husband really teaches them at all but I gotcha. I'm pretty sure it'd be the same yeah. as if a mom was doing it. Is there a landing last thing you'd like to say? 